Hello and welcome to Electronic Solutions. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the latest notification. In my today's video, I am going to explain about the stack operation in 8059. So let us first understand what is the meaning of a stack. The stack is nothing but it is a section of RAM that is a random access memory used by the CPU to store the information temporarily. This information could be a data or it may be an address. The CPU needs this storage area since there are only limited number of registers. If the stack is a section of a RAM, then there must be registers inside the CPU to point to it. And the register which is used to access the stack is called as a SP or stack pointer register. This stack pointer register is 8 bit wide and which means that it can take the values from 00 to FFH. Initially, when 8051 is powered up, the stack pointer register contains the value which is equal to 07H. So, this means that the RAM location 08 is the first location which is used for the stack by 8051. The storing of the CPU register in the stack is called as a push operation and pulling the content of the stack back into the CPU is called as a pop operation. In other words, a register is pushed onto the stack to save it and pop off the stack to retrieve it. And the job of the stack pointer is very critical when push and pop actions are performed. Now we will understand how the push and the pop operation will take place with the help of diagram. Now here we can see, uh, see that uh, whenever we do the push operation then in that case our stack pointer is incremented by 1 and when we pop off the contents from the stack then the stack pointer is always decremented by 1. So let us understand how the data gets saved onto the stack by using the push instruction and how the data will be retrieved from the stack by using pop instruction. So here there is a small code written for that. So initially I have written three move instructions. So the first move instruction will copy the data 25H to register R6. The second instruction copies the data 12H into register R1. And the third instruction copies the data 0F3 in register R4. Then after that I have written three instructions push 6, push 1 and push 4. Now uh, there are four diagrams shown for the stack. So if you see the first diagram the stack pointer is pointing to the uh, first location that is a 07H. When we write the first push instruction that is a push 6. Then the stack pointer is incremented by 1 and it will point to the location 0 8. And at that location it will copy or save the contents which are present in the register R6. So 6 push 6 basically represent that it is a, nothing but the register R6. So the data which is present inside the register R6 will be copied or moved or saved to the um, stack location 08H. When we write the next push instruction that is push 1, the stack pointer will be again incremented by 1 and now it will be point to the location 09 and at that location the data 12H is saved onto the stack. When we write the third push instruction that is a push 4, again the stack pointer will be incremented by 1 and the data F3 which is present inside the register R4 will be saved onto the stack. So basically after every push instruction the stack pointer is incremented by 1 and the data is saved from the address which is written in the push instruction to the corresponding stack location. This is how the push operation will take place. Now we will understand how the pop operation will be take place. Now for that you refer the first picture of the stack. 
here the stack is already loaded by pushing some data onto the stack so 08 location contains the data 6c 09 location contains the data 76 0a location contains the data f9 and 0b location contains the data 54 so when we write uh, the pop3 instruction then what will happen see here presently my stack pointer is pointing to the memory location 0b so whenever i give the first instruction pop3 then by that instruction my data that is a 54 edge will be retrieved or popped off from this stack and it will be stored at an address 3 that means 3 is nothing but it is the address of register r3 now after retrieving that data now my stack pointer will be uh, decremented by 1 when i will give pop5 instruction then the data which is present at the memory location 0a that is f9 will be will be retrieved from the stack and it will be copied to the register r5 again when i write pop2 instruction then by that again my stack pointer will be decremented by 1 now it will be uh, represented or it is uh, showing the address 09h where my data 76 is present so that data 76 will be then copied to the address uh, that is a register r2 like this the push and the pop operation in 8051 will take place so guys if you like my video then please share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel Thank you guys. Thank you so much.